video of this thing. We got it all painted up. It looks incredible. Um, so now it's kind of the really exciting thing. Uh, if you guys saw the first drive video, this thing's super reliable and stuff, but we just have some issues with the Ninja 250 motor. We think it has to do with fuel starvation and carb sinking. Um, so we're gonna, what we're gonna do is basically do, this to be the tuning video where we're gonna try to get it running as best as we possibly can and then we'll be able to load it up on the trailer and take it for a rip and hopefully we'll be able to um, not have any issues. A lot of people commented about re-gearing. Um, right now we're not really worried about that because it just runs bad. What we want to do is see how, basically because we couldn't get past 4,000 RPM in like fourth gear. Um, so really we have no idea how fast this thing is. So we're just going to start with the things we know we can't control, like the tuning and things like that, and then we can probably in a later video re-gear it if it is still too slow, but I think if this thing has a ton of torque right now and a lot of power, we should be able to have a lot of fun with it in this video. So stay tuned for us driving it. One of the problems we've seen, uh, other people have had it, they've said in the comments, is that these gas tanks, the fuel petcock is, it doesn't really let out that much fuel. So what we did is we changed it to like a bigger fitting that's free flowing and then that'll go down and then we have our own petcock at the bottom right here. So hopefully that will solve our like starve for fuel issue. It probably is very, very long overdue for an oil change. That's how we're doing. Let's see what the oil looks like slash if there's any oil in it. And we learned from like the rotary cart and stuff, we actually made this thing serviceable so you don't have to pull the engine to do any work on it. So Let's see how I sure hope there's oil in her. It was in the sight glass. Yeah. It's not bad. Yeah, it's kind of just brown. Really not bad at all. Wow, this is like really easy to maintenance. Sweet. Not bad at all. This is our old filter. Um, there's a new one. All you gotta do is just kinda do a little switcheroo. She's ready to go. All right, so now we're gonna sink the carburetors. So the first step is to warm up the engine completely. carb sink tool all hooked up and it's pretty much ready to go uh, essentially all this is two vacuum gauges and you just there's a little adjuster in the middle and we're going to turn it with the screwdriver until both carbs have the same amount of vacuum valve timing is this yeah it's in the late valve timing or leak at intake manifold or heat reservoir all right, so we were unable to get it to sync up properly. So now we're going through the valve lash procedure. So basically to get to where you can put a ratchet on the crankshaft, you gotta take out this little plastic guy and then we're gonna take off the valve cover. Let's see if we can pull this out and see how it looks under here. Looks pretty clean. Uh, so as you can see, our valve lash is way too loose. Um, so we're just going to do a quick little adjustment and get it in spec. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So four doesn't just barely doesn't, and three fits. Nice. Sweet. So it's like three point something. All right. So now we're going to go through, do all that with our intake, and we'll be done. So with our valve lash being off, and then our carbs unsync, there's a lot of symptoms which include kind of fluttering at. Uh, idle and then like hanging up at idle and searching so hopefully now that we have that done and then we'll sink the carbs we should be fixing pretty much everything let's see all right so with that we the engine should be all done so this should be pretty much its final form and we're ready to go drive it.
Beautiful day, beautiful cart. Let's let it rip. These seats and belts feel amazing. It's so secure in here. Yep, thank you, Go Power Sports. Y'all, yep. don't forget, none of these parts would be possible without Go Power Sports. Oxbeam hooked it up on our lights. And then we have our DG exhaust. That sounds amazing on this thing. We are just really ready to let it rip, Tater Chip. We're just driving it in fourth gear because the shifter broke, but luckily it broke in the best gear for us to drive it in. Um, we do want to re-gear it in the future, but our parts from Go Power Sports aren't here yet. So for the meantime, we're just gonna have fun with it. I actually don't think it really needs a re-gear. Um, it goes plenty fast and has tons of torque. We might stick with it actually, but right now we're just gonna continue to have some fun with it. Um, she's a complete ripper now. It's not like a dog like it was in the last time we drove it. Um, she kind of hauls, so yeah, maybe we'll try to drift it around and stuff. Kind of a shame that the shifter broke, but this is build breaker feet, right? So yeah, this is a success though. Thanks for sticking with us, guys. She's basically in her final form with paint and everything, so we're just super excited that we even got here, so. That, that, for, 
that's not a first gear launch, guys. That's a fourth gear launch, because that's all we have, but it's actually pretty good. Ha! I mean, it bogged, but like right off the start, it spun the tires good, which is better than we've ever been able to do. If we couldn't, basically what I'm saying is, if we couldn't spin the tires in first gear last video, our valve adjustment definitely helped because we can spin it in fourth in this video. That's just kind of some scientific stuff. It definitely drives way better, as you can see. So, oh geez, uh, that was, it was super fun. Like, don't get me wrong. Um, I think I was either stuck in fourth or fifth gear. I don't know if y'all could tell, but uh, the shifts kind of got like sloppier. So it was really hard to push it into gear and eventually it was just kind of like slowly slipping it in. And then the cable just broke. But um, I mean, it's showing a lot of promise, but I mean, it kind of drifts. I mean, fourth gear launches almost worked, so tune the carbs a little bit. They're still cutting up a tiny bit. And I think at one point, maybe the bowls ran out of fuel or something, but um, I mean, it's, it's a new shifter a cable. Yeah, a new sprocket, new shifter cable, and yeah, yeah. maybe carb stuff. And we also have front fenders on the way. Yeah. Um, yeah, but I mean, this thing is really promising. It's really starting to get there. Sorry, this couldn't be like the final vid where it just works perfectly, but you know, that's how it goes. Yeah. Um, here, we'll just keep the, keep it going, but. Yep. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Go Power Sports. Um, I think we're actually going, we might, I think in the videos to come, we're, because the last 11 videos, I think, have been of this thing. Um, so really it's just, um, you know, kind of a lot of content that's repetitive. You're, you guys have seen it done, I think. We'll post this vid and then we'll give it a couple weeks. We have a cool ATV build that we've been working on and I'd really like to show you guys that. Um, so we'll kind of upload those videos probably and then upload this thing ripping good. And then we're thinking, because we had leftover to the color of this paint, we're gonna paint the ATV this color and kind of go with the same scheme. So then we can have them both riding together and maybe some sort of final vid, so. And anyways, thanks to our sponsors. Thank you guys, of course, for watching. It's been a really long build. One of our favorites so far, definitely one of the most time intensive, but we're happy it just drives and we can sit in it and have fun and, you know, that's what it's all about. So, see you next time.